to do um, because we have been trying to get him out for at least three weeks and um, the team that he was on they weren't doing really well and then when, once Maurice got there they had started winning games so they wanted to keep him there because right. Yes. They wanted to win basketball yes. games. Yes. Okay. So this ultimately turned into more of a business thing than um, human thing. life. Right. right. More greed than anything else. Yeah. So he, um, he met with the coaches at 10 that morning. It was, he has an American coach there. His name is Ter Terry Murphy. And uh, Terry has his mom there and his wife, but his wife is Ukrainian and Terry has been in the Ukraine for, I'm going to say maybe over 20 years. Um, so he met with Terry, he met with another assistant coach and um, I think his head coach and one of the trainers. So they were just trying to get Maurice food together, water, things like that because Maurice had already had his apartment all cleared out and things ready to go so right. that he could catch that flight. So wh where is Maurice right now? He is in Budapest. So he has been able to get out. He got out and I'm telling you, it was by the skin of mm -hmm. his teeth because um, one of the coaches, the Ukrainian assistant coach, he um, sent his wife and his mother, he wanted to get them out and they ended up putting Maurice in the car with those two ladies and they got, he sent me a video and the video is just so eerie because I mean, barricades were everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, what do you call those bags? The dirt were piled mm -hmm. up everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, it was like a maze they had to ride through. There were um, blown up vehicles. The tanks were all over the place. And um, they had to go through Odessa to get to the Madova border. And I'm gonna say it was an hour after they had gotten through Odessa, a missile strike hit Odessa. Wow. And um, luckily by that time they were already at the border. We have been hearing reports about how black people perhaps mm -hmm. are treated Mm -hmm. in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Can you speak to any of that for us as your son talked about perhaps his safety wasn't as much of a priority as other people's safety? Do you find that to be an issue at all or is this just... Well, he seems like to me he was abandoned by the team and everybody else. Luckily the coach said coach stayed back, had his wife and his mother there. Yeah. Other than that, I think he wouldn't be in Budapest right now. And yeah. I mean, it's kind of, I know what you're asking, like the people that are on the trains and everything, he didn't experience any of that, right. but. But he basically got abandoned. But if it wasn't for the fact that I believe this man was trying to get his wife and his daughter, his wife, I'm sorry, and his mother out of there, mm -hmm. I still think they mm -hmm. would right. not have gotten Maurice to that border and they promised him that if anything happened that he would be their first priority in getting him out of there and they did none first of that. First priority to get themselves out of there. Yeah, they did none Maurice of that. Maurice heard nothing from them. How do you feel now? I mean, knowing that he's still not back on U.S. soil, mm -hmm. but are you able to have a sense of relief at least right now? Um, I honestly don't know how yeah, I right, feel. Yeah, to get here. yeah, I need to be able to put my hands on him. Um, just talking to him via FaceTime and on the phone is it's not good enough right. because it's I know it's him. real, yeah, but it's still my son is not home. And I went through a nightmare. Yeah. What does he say? How how is he feeling? He's happy, but he he was terrified. He was scared for his life. I mean, it was shellings going off, the rockets, the missiles, the shaking, the I quakes, and the martial law. Um, going down in that bomb shelter, that place was just hell without fire. Um, it was no parent would want their 
child yeah. to go through what Maurice just went through. And it was all for not, all for selfish purposes, all for selfish reasons. People think he, you know, they ask, well, right. why didn't he leave? Why couldn't he get out? It wasn't that simple. If it was that simple, he would have been, been out of there. But we were talking contracts. We were talking um, his letter of clearance. Like buyouts, no, it isn't yeah, it, it, it was all business to them. What do you want our WHUR listeners to know? What can they do to just help your son and help any others who may be still stuck over there trying to get out? <sighs> um, we got lucky. I'm going to say because um, there was a man who Maurice had just met. I just think that the Most High just lines things up. It's amazing how he lines things up. But Maurice had just met this man just a couple of months ago. And um, lo and behold, he was able to work for four days to help get Maurice out of there when no one else would. Um, we got calls from the State Department, but they just wanted real-time information on Maurice, but they weren't telling us what actions would be taken um, to help him. They didn't have answers for us. Just stay by the phone, give us updates as you get them. Um, I did contact Senator Cardin's office. Um, they have been helpful with us in trying to get him out of there. But um, ultimately, it was his Green Beret. And um, he works with Maurice's Summer League team, um, which is a TBT team, Sideline Cancer. And they worked to get him out of there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just all gratitude to them. I tell parents, you know, we know our kids love sports. Maurice loves basketball. Um, there is a side of sports that... Completely dirty. 100%. Let me tell you something. You better pray if your kids play sports that they don't get injured. Because if they do, everybody turn their back. Everything, I don't care how talented your child is, when they get hurt, and if they don't have the right people around them, they will be forgotten about. And Maurice was one of those people. And it breaks my heart because of the person he is mm -hmm. outside of basketball. And I'm not just saying this because he's my son. You could walk out this door and ask anybody who knows Maurice. Maurice is one of the most humble, caring, kindest people you are ever going to meet. He has a huge mm -hmm. heart. He will do anything for anybody in the way that a lot of people have treated him locally, a way, the way that a lot of people have treated him on the basketball circuit just around the country has been absolutely dirty. And Sometimes parents can't even get a call back when their son get hurt. Yeah. And people that we thought we would have heard from or that Maurice would have heard from, we haven't heard from, nor has he heard from, or it took days mm -hmm. to hear from these people to say what can we do we've had other people calling us because we haven't left the house we have not slept we haven't we're barely we both probably have lost 10 pounds in five <laughs> days i mean we've had people calling us can we um order food and for you guys can we get you guys some groceries um that my dad, my father-in-law, and my mother-in-law have been over here bringing us food. My brother's been over here helping us out. Um, but as far as Maurice, he has a GoFundMe page. So we need people to really, if you can donate, donate to that. Tell us the page. Um, 
Because he's going to definitely need a lawyer. Yeah. He, um, let's see. It is, it's called Bring Home Maurice Mo Creek Buddy. His nickname is Buddy. A lot of people didn't know that. Say that for me one more time. Bring Home Mo Maurice Mo Creek Buddy. And the page is organized by B.J. Dupree, who is Mike's sister. Um, and we also have a Zelle and a Cash app. And the Zelle and Cash app are attached to my cell phone number. And my cell number is 240-705-2933. And I am okay with anybody having that number. We just need to raise as much money for him. So when he calls and says, I need this, that, and the other, we can be ready because what I don't want to happen is for him to be ready to come home and we have to tell him now you still have to wait because we don't have enough resources to get you back home. And he still has a child. Yes, and he has pay. a daughter and they did not care.